in this video i'm going to show you how to create a dslr bouquet blow in ps touch okay guys so let's just go ahead and import our model so just click right here click on photo library and here we have it so click on our model image and click add so here's the image first of all i would like to increase the saturation of this image because i think it's lo it look way desaturated now it does look better so click ok all right now let us get started with the effect but first one thing we want to do we want to separate her from the background so to do that click on your toolbar you can use different variety of tools but i would love to use the quick selection tool on this one so this is how it work just click and drag on the background like so you can increase the size click on drag and do it all true okay we have done selecting the background but if you take a look there are some part of our which got selected we don't want that to remove that click on mode as you can see it's showing subtract so let us reduce the brush and now we can brush it out as you can see so do this for every part that has the model selected okay we are pretty much done with the selection but if you take a look at the air it's not that neat so let us refine the edge so to do that click right here on this icon click on refine edge so what you want to do just click once on the air and as you can see it neatens everything up so now let's go ahead and hit ok done okay so now what you want to do is to click right here inverse the selection now it, it feels as if it's the model that is selected which is exactly what we want and click right here click on this icon click layer from selection done as you can see we now have the model in our own layer so turn this back on click right here deselect so what we want to do we want to remove the model from the background so we already have the model in our own layer so we want to remove the model from here so to do that click right on this icon scroll to the top you will see this clone stamp tool pick up the brush make sure the size is 100% and the hardness is 0% so now click once at the background like this and brush it in like so so for the left side you can also click on source sample here and erase click on source again okay you can stop at this point that's fine so now you can turn on the model layer back on so one thing i really want to do is to replace that sky it looks way too blown out the best way to do that just click right here click on this icon photo layer photo library and pick up this sky done so just position it right at the top I think I'm going to flip it yeah I think somewhere like this would do click on done so now click right here click on fade pick any of this fade so let's go with this one take this down I'll take 
system okay take a look at that so this is the before and the after now it's time to do the blurring so to blur click right here click on this icon first of all let's measure it down measure it down so now we have them in one layer so now click here duplicate done now come over to effects gaussian blur so increase the blur to your preference okay i think here we'll do click on done then click right here again click on fade so i'll take it to the bottom okay done now let's apply the bokeh so click right here click here photo layer from photo library so this is the bokeh click on it and click add so rotate it like this then oops make it bigger like this okay I think here will do click on done then click right here click here change the blend mode to linear dodge or well, let's try screen yeah screen so before and after and that is how you create a bokeh effect in ps touch thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye